All right, well, it's another morning here in Utz. As you can see, it looks like it's just gonna be another splendid day. Ground looks a little bit wet, nothing crazy. But uh, I guess we got some rain upstream last night because yesterday the level did go up to about 190. And by the end of the day, I think it was closer to like 180. But for whatever reason, last night it skyrocketed all the way up to like 270, which is way higher. And then this morning it's down to about 240 already. It's going down fast, but right now it's, uh, it's juicy. Apparently it's too high for the Vela Booker at the moment. I'm still gonna get dressed and go check it out. But worst case, even if it is too high for the Vela Booker, which is the race section, I think it's a good level to go up to the middle. Uh, I haven't done a lap on the uh, middle Uts since probably 2013. Normally when I come here, I just go focus hard on the race course. Hopefully I'll remember the lines, although I think it changes a lot. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to find some people to follow. It's high, we got some juice. It might not be the day for more race training, but there's gonna be plenty of good kayaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, head up to the race section. Hopefully I'll find a line and it'll look like a lot of fun. Worst case, it sounds like some people are heading to the middle here pretty soon. So either way, we're gonna get some dope boating today. Stoked. Well, it's uh, yeah, a little bit higher than the last few days. I figured there was no point in walking up in my clothes, deciding it looked good, walking all the way back down, getting my gear, and then walking up. I was like, I might as well just go up in my gear. And if it looks great, which I have a feeling I'll like it, if it doesn't look great, I can just run the section down to the bridge and it'll still be fantastic. Yeah, as long as it looks like the boob tip is going, I think it should be good. But that hole's not bad, this hole isn't bad. I probably... Would you still try to go like here? I think so. The other option would be a little riskier, but you start left and then you drive right at minus one into that eddy, and then do the right oh, channel. Whoa, you're gonna do it, man? Just got here, it looks good yeah. so far. I just have to look at champions. Now I'm going to take a quick look at Champions. As long as it looks like even if you don't have a lot of speed and you can still get a good boot, I think it'll be good. You just kind of have to figure out where you want to go here. And then as long as you boot Champions, it should be fine. Well, at first look, a lot going on. But in the end, through the main part of the course, none of the holds really intimidate me or nor. I think if you got stuck in them, it'd be pretty easy to surf out. But the only thing is, is whether or not if you were to go off Champions color at this flow with like no speed, if you would just get destroyed in a massive hole or what that looks like. So we're gonna go get a quick look. Well, you probably do like four ends and then just get the biggest meltdown and wash out. Yeah, like if you swim, I don't think it would be The only thing that would suck is if you get pushed up against the rock, but there's so much water coming up that I think it'd be okay. I, that hole's not that bad, but I do worry. If you're out of your boat, I, it would be concerning how much power there is pushing against these rocks. Okay. I think you're gonna go, come in with so much speed. As long as you get your bow up a little, you're probably gonna come flying out. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna take a lot to get stuck in that. I mean, not a lot, but like... It doesn't look that hard to move. No. I feel pretty good about keeping my speed up and my bow up there. I feel like even if I did one end and I got stuck in the hole, it'd be one of those where you like hate it for a second and then something catches you just go so deep and then pop up. But the farthest left has the most like stop, whereas the middle has more water blowing out. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna aim for the middle. I'll see how it does for you, dude. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna aim. My goal is probably gonna be to actually like land in the eddy and make it to the right channel to be safer. But if I get pushed middle, I think as long as I'm middle champion kill, it should be good. I'm gonna do the main section, but I don't think I'm gonna do the first hole just cause it'd be totally fine. I could probably surf out of it. I think the line would be fine. I don't think it's that hard. But when you have a pretty decent hole with a good amount of backwash right above a section like I'm about to do, sometimes I just feel like just not quite worth the risk. Like if that hole was on its own, I'd be like, it's fine. But because it's right above the other section, sometimes it's not worth risking that one extra move cause that could be real bad if that went wrong. So I'm gonna put him below it. Here we go. Woo!
Okay. I really wanted to do the main line at the bottom, but yeah. I'm kind of like, yeah, already getting pushed right. <laughs> you gonna get it, bro? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, that went fantastic. The whole thing went basically as I imagined. And I originally thought I was gonna do the main line of champion, but I ended up making a plan that if I skip into the eddy on the right, I'll just commit to the right channel. But I knew that if I made it middle and I got pushed middle, that I would still have a really good line on champion if I kept my speed up and got somewhat of a boost. So, yeah. But in the end, got the skip through minus one, into the eddy on the right, ran the right channel. Whole thing went so good, I'm stoked. Yeah, went great. I think Zach went down to get his gear. Might as well make the most of having to buy water. People complain about having low water for a few days and then we finally get water and then it's like, I'm not gonna go kayaking. It's like, well, there's still other sections you can do. You might as well go kayaking. Well, my GoPro battery somehow died. I thought I grabbed a fresh one, but apparently I was wrong. I'm now using Kalen's GoPro. Don't worry, I changed all the settings from his terrible setup to how it's supposed to be whoa, set up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I can't really complain because he's the one that has the charged GoPro right now. Although he didn't have an SD card, so I had to put my SD card in, so we're doing great. You're I bring great. the GoPro, you bring the SD card. Okay. <laughs> Ready, proof? I think as long as your bow is pretty far right, you have, your bow is going to stay over that curler so you can kind of correct from there. Like, you'd have to be pretty far left, I think, to really get swung. Got my boat down there in case uh, I need to jump in. Got a rope below champion. Dak's getting into his boat now. Sounds like he can go up the same line I did. All right, here comes Dak. Should he'll ace it. Up, up, up! Get it, get it, you got it! That looked dope. That was sick. He got kind of pushed middle for a champion, but it still looked great. And seeing champions from here, it actually looks better than I thought, but that was sick. Sick on. Dude, that was sick. Bro, the eating line just rejected me. <laughs> yeah, dude. So this fast. guy shot middle. <laughs> Look good, though. Nice one, dude. That's a sick record right now. That is a sick record, bro. If the water wasn't so powerful pushing up against the wall, the champion would be so sick to do laps, but. You definitely yeah. can go pretty deep there. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to middle now? Let's do some middle. Yeah, I'll do middle. I think if we go upside down like this, it should work. Yeah, we're good. All right, well, that was fun. Now we're gonna load up and go do some laps on middle it. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Or you can yeah. go high, high, make the whole thing. Solid yeah. tree in there. Just follow the yellow boat, follow the kiwi. <laughs> All right, we're at the top. I haven't actually done this section since I think 2011. I've done the section about the race course quite a bit, the upper Vela Booker, but I have not done this since probably 2011. I'm gonna follow the Kiwi and hopefully he remembers the lines. I saw you pizza, but what the fuck? No! I like this one! You kicked once and I, as soon as you did the kickflip, I saw you just stop. I was like, oh, okay. No! So I'll just hop out and stop on it for a sec. Man, it's lightweight mode. Oh, good as new. I can go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, <might> go. <laughs> I think I can keep going.
champ. Yeah, great. Nice to be down. Good lap. Thanks for showing me down. No worries. Why the fuck did you went the way you did in the first rapid? I thought that's where money told me go. I'm just following him, don't look at me. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> that was fun. I would love to get something different while I'm out here. Now we're gonna go back up and I'll back down. That was a lot of fun. Fun high water lap on the race section. Head up for a quick thing on middle it. Gonna find something to do with the afternoon. Probably gonna go up to the Aquadome, check that out. Either way, that's a solid morning. It's another day in paradise. Phew. Well, another fantastic day in it. Got some high water in the morning. Got to do a lap on middle it. Got to go check out the Aquadome. Now I'm gonna get some delicious dinner with some absolutely delicious Austrian beer. Fingers crossed that with the rain that's hitting tonight and tomorrow that the river doesn't go so high that it doesn't drop in time for the race. Hopefully, despite the fact we're getting a lot more rain, the level should hopefully drop in time for Friday and Saturday. Either way, another fantastic day here. More high water, more good times. Looking forward to seeing what the rest of the week brings. Stoked. Let's go.